hello my lovelies so we have a vlog today i know today is the first of december technically this is when loads of people start vlogmas i don't feel like i can fully commit to vlogmas though i wish i could i remember last year having plans to do vlogmas and obviously that just didn't work out because of things that were going on um and i wasn't going to do it this year and then i thought i it it probably is a good thing for me to have a challenge um but that being said i need to be realistic i don't want to get you guys hopes up so i'm not really doing vlogmas but i am going to try and upload more as long as you guys don't mind short just sometimes just at home videos i have to try and think of things that i can keep showing you guys um because it's a challenge especially at the moment when like we'll be coming out of lockdown in a couple days actually although when you watch this we'll be coming out of lockdown tomorrow because we come out on the second but we're still going to be in like tier two we've got different tiers throughout of england london's going to be in tier two thankfully we can go out things just start opening up a bit um obviously just being really sensible of course um but yeah it means we can go out a bit so potentially there could be more interesting things but obviously we will be spending a lot of time as, at home as i know a lot of us are um i guess this is kind of like a disclaimer for myself i know you guys are going to be so understanding but i really want to do this for myself like if i was talking to myself right now i'd be like come on eva you can do this you know if i can upload a video you know twice a week that would be amazing for me um but i also need to be really realistic with myself and with you guys that my mental health isn't the best at the moment um so you know if i have a, a bad day or a bad few days I know I'm not going to want to do anything or, or vlog so let's see how we go I potentially have two videos ready one I recorded today this one that you're going to watch is from kind of a little while the last like week or so yeah the last week um so hopefully you enjoy it and we can have you know a Christmassy adventure together as much as we possibly can um anyway if you have any requests for videos please let me know in the comments I've been talking for like who knows a couple minutes now and i don't want to bore you guys but let me know in the comments uh, maybe one of the videos me and alan could do like a, a cozy at home wintry q a or something i don't know but let me know guys okay enjoy the video and i will see you very soon currently filming a video about his kind of like reviewing his pair of boots i love these shoes so much he's really made me want a pair how cool are they i know louis vuitton re released a shoe with a similar design but the pair of boot is the original they've been around since the 40s which is what i learned from alan today listening to him making his video um and we're just filming some cutaways for him um but that video should be up soon right i'll link alan's channel below for you guys if you want to watch Currently we're just getting Alan's thumbnail, really like this one, and <laughs> we're going to try something else now where he has his legs up against the wall. Um, not the most flexible and has jeans on, so we'll see how this goes. It's the jeans, not me. I'm going to stand over you. <laughs> okay. Can you not straighten your legs anymore? No, no, go back Alan. Off we go. <sighs> okay, so my last few videos. Definitely got comments and messages from you guys asking me to show you more of my knitting. So that's what I'm going to do. Hopefully you guys don't, those of you that aren't interested in knitting, um, don't find it too boring. I'm not going to pretend I'm like a really good knitter. I'm not great. This blanket I'm making um, is going to have a lot of bobbly bits. That's for sure. Um, Alan's just having his snacks, don't mind that you can hear him in the background. I'm watching um, Jungle, that's what we call it in my family, but it's I'm a Celebrity. I love this show. Um, and I'm doing my knitting, and this is a really momentous occasion that I had to document and tell you guys about because I'm casting off, and this is the first time I've done this. My blanket's in two halves, which probably I'll show you more, I think, because it's quite late now, I'm going to put it together tomorrow, so I'll show you more tomorrow. But... I'm casting off and I've never done this before like I said my blankets in two halves my first half my mum um, took it off for me and 
Now I'm trying to do it. I've been making this blanket since 2017, so it's not been a short process, but we are nearly there. The end is in sight, Alan. Huh. Finally. I know. Um, I just you Googled on YouTube how to cast off and found a video. So I'm gonna do that now. So the YouTube video I found said that you should have two of your knitting rows on this one, and that's how you cast off. So I'm just gonna knit one. I've already done this a couple times, and then I thought I should probably tell you guys. So I've got two on this needle now, and now I go under. I mean, this is not a tutorial. If you wanna learn how to do this, definitely watch someone else's video. So I'm still figuring it out and finding it a little bit flimsy. You go under, and then you let that one go. And now that one has cast off, and now I've only got one left on here. So I'm just gonna go through and do that over and over again. So knit on, and then get another one ooh, to cast off. And hopefully as I go, I should get the hang of it more. Now I just have to figure out how to stick the two halves together. This is one of them. I've got another one on the floor. This is what we have to stick together. You can see the two sides of it. It's got a lot of bobbly bits. You can see all around here as well. Um, but that's fine. Once it's sewn together and I fix all those bits up, hopefully you won't be able to tell. Then all these extra bits of wool, I just need to kind of like sew them into the blanket as well. These arrived today. How cosy are these? I don't want to show you my feet too much because they're it's a bit weird kind of staring at people's feet, isn't it? Um, but these arrived today and I just think they are so cosy. The furry Birkenstocks, I've decided they're going to be my winter slippers and the grey is really, really nice. Um, Alan loved them so much that he even got himself a pair, but he got the furry Bostons in grey. So when they arrive, I'll show you guys those, but... Yeah, very comfy. I can't quite believe it, but it's working. I'm over halfway. <laughs> you can see the oh, rest better. of it here. <laughs> <laughs> what? I feel, I feel better, better now. now. <laughs> yep, so it is working a treat. I haven't got the right needle, but I'm working it out. And we are like halfway. I had a little bit of a, a mix up here. But the rest of it has been going really well. I've just got this much left on my legs. Can't believe it. Soon I'm actually gonna have a finished blanket that both Alan and I will fit in. Now my bed is made, though a little bit scruffily. I wanted to show you guys um, a better overview of my finished blanket because I think the lighting in here is quite nice and you can really get a feel for it. It's a very thick wool, which I absolutely love. It's really heavy, it feels really nice quality. Um, Alan was just saying to me that it's a little bit shabby like around the edges with these kind of things um, and for me to maybe practice a little bit more. Um, and I have been thinking about making another blanket, though I don't know what I would do with it, but just because it, I feel like it is really nice to have that kind of thing to do. And I think if I was to do this again, I would do it differently. So I essentially made two long strips for this one. And then um, you can see the spine um, where I stitched it together. On the other side, you can't see the spine as much, but on this side you can, which doesn't bother me. But I think what I would do next time is actually make small squares um, like loads of them and then stitch those together because doing it on this big scale I think is where I ended up with quite a lot of um, you know issues with holes and excess fabric and things like that over here so yeah but I'm really happy with it I mean it's super cozy and I would definitely recommend like as a hobby it's a really nice thing to do I don't know what the exact color of this is I might have a look on the Wool and the Gang website and see if I can figure out what shades I've used. Um, if I can figure it out, I'll put it in the description box. Um, 
but again these walls were bought you know a couple years ago so i'm not sure if they'll have exactly the same but maybe something similar but yeah really really happy with that how it's come out it's been super cozy i've used it every day uh since making it and it's just perfect for winter it's so warm Oh, this is exciting. We match. We do match. 